One area of ICT that you can certainly be asked about in a GCSE ICT exam is digital TV. Now in years gone by we'd have to watch television through what we'd call an analog TV where you need some big bulky sort of aerial uh, attached to your TV to be able to pick up signals from an analog transmitter. They'd give you some TV pictures that wouldn't be very good quality and you'd have to get it off your backside to be able to change the channel or the level of the volume by twiddling some of those buttons like that. Then came along the advent of the remote control meaning that we could be a bit more lazy and stay on our sofa to be able to change channel or volume hence the term couch potato was born. Now digital TVs have come along and give us lots of benefits over analog TV one of which is we um, now have hundreds of channels instead of just five we have better quality pictures and sound and we also have interactivity meaning we can interact in our TV uh, with our TV to give us new opportunities and be able to do new things digital TV still require a sort of aerial because um, we need to connect our TVs up to digital transmitters rather than analog ones in October 2012 all analog transmitters were switched off meaning that now only digital TVs work to get your di digital TV to work you need uh, a free view box or more commonly now they're built into the back of your television or you might have satellite services such as Sky or Virgin Media I mentioned interactivity before this is where you might use buttons on your remote control to do things like watch the weather from a different area of the country than you normally would do or select to watch a chosen band that might be playing at a festival true and interactivity comes where we might do things like when watching the shopping channel use our remote control to maybe buy a product one of the best features of digital television is the EPG the electronic program guide which is a TV guide on your screen uh, where you can select programs find out more information about them amongst lots of other things as well so that's digital TV in a nutshell and now you might want to go away and do some research into it for yourself to find out more